Ray.
he was still on hand. Despite what he had been through, he was still around. He let his boys know that he was still alive. Amen. I like that because you have to let people know that you are still here. Right. You have to let them know that you're still on the scene. In spite of what they did to you, you have to show up Amen. just to let people know that you're still around. Amen. You have to let your friends know that you've been restored. You have to let family know that you've been revived. Show them the nail prints in your hands just to let them know that you're still around. Jesus showed them proof that he was still here. He showed them church evidence to open their eyes. He showed them where he had been nailed in his hands just to let them know that he was still alive. How many folk can say, I was down, but now I've been restored. Amen. Yeah, I was out, but I've been revived. I was low, but I've bounced back. And I'm here to let folk know that I'm still alive. I went through some battles, but I'm still breathing. Involved in some fights, but I'm still around. I got knocked down, but I bounced right back. And I'm here to let them know that I'm still alive. Church, that's why you have to go through some trials and tribulations. That's why you have to go through some hard ache and pain. Why? Because it will provide you with evidence to let people know, despite what was done to you, you're still around. Do I have anybody in here that knows you've been through the fire, you've been through the flood, you've had your share of struggles, you've had your share of pain, but now you can look back and grab something out of your evidence room because despite all that you've been through you've got many proofs just like Jesus to let people know that you're still around that's why you shouldn't be afraid to tell your story that's why you shouldn't be scared to stand up and testify because after all God has done for you, all he was trying to do is to provide you with some evidence so you can let some other people know. Maybe I've been around long enough. I've been through some trials. I've had my share of pain. But in spite of all of that, I stand right here on today just to let you know Jesus showed himself to his disciples. He appeared to them for 40 days around Jerusalem. Don't miss that. Because Jerusalem is the place uh, where he was crucified. Jerusalem, y'all, was the area where he died on the cross. I like that because you know you've been delivered when you can go back Hallelujah. and face the same people that tried to take you out. Oh, you just said right there. See, when you can face your angst, You've been delivered. When you can face your foes, you've been set free. See, you know you've been loose. When you can go back and face the very foes. 
God will do. See, some of us try to avoid folk that did us wrong. That means you ain't been loose yet. If you ducking and dodging people that did you wrong back in the day, you ain't been set free. You know you've been set free when you can see them walk up to them and smile in their face and ask them how you doing, how's your family doing, how's the marriage going, because God has given me power to face the folk that did me wrong. Jesus told the disciples, don't leave Jerusalem. He said, wait for the gift that my father promised. Like that. Because if they leave too soon, they'll miss the lesson. Oh, y'all hear me on this one. If they leave early, they won't get the gift. If they bounce before time, they'll miss y'all the promise. Because Jesus told them that something is coming. I don't know who I'm talking to, but stay in place. I don't know who this is for, but don't leave too fast. I don't know who I'm talking to, but don't get in a hurry. God wanted me to tell you that something is coming. Oh, I know you don't like it, but wait a little longer. Disciples. He told them in verse number four to stay. 
stay in Jerusalem. To understand my point, you have to know the context. To get where I'm going, church, I have to give you the backdrop. Jerusalem was hostile at this time. It was in an uproar at this moment. Jesus had been crucified up on a cross. His body was placed inside a tomb. On the third day, his body was gone. And rumor had it that the disciples took it away. Don't miss that. Because Jesus wants them to stay where they are most wanted. Mm. You know, when you're most wanted, you're trying to duck. He wants them to stay where they may get attacked. Jerusalem is the place, church, of opposition. It is symbolic of a place of struggle. Jerusalem will shape and mold the disciples. Which means, y'all, that your burden can be a blessing. See, they'll be stronger after Jerusalem. Yeah, they'll trust God more after their struggle. They'll worship Him better after some conflict. God used the burden to be a blessing. See, and right now in the church, you should give God the glory. Yeah, every now and then, you should give Him praise. Because God used the trial to shape and mold you. He used the conflict to grow you up. Every now and then, you should lift Him up. Because He used your burden to be a blessing.
y'all stay right there in Jerusalem because I'm going to use the bird to turn out to be your blessing. And here's the next thing. Uh, he said, I want you to stay because what you have ain't enough. Jesus told the disciples, stay in Jerusalem. He wanted them to wait for the gift that his father had promised. Watch this. He said, for John baptized with water. But in a few days, makes reference to his cousin John the Baptist. He mentions the assignment that John had. You remember, he baptized people who wanted to repent. He immersed them in water for their sin. It was a poor church of receiving salvation where you died to the old and were raised to the new. Jesus told the disciples, don't y'all leave Jerusalem. He told them to wait for the gift from the Father. He said, for John baptized with water, but in a few days, you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. That implies, church, that water wasn't sufficient. For John to baptize with water. But in a few days, you can be baptized with the Holy Spirit. It implies that water was inadequate. He said, wait for the gift that's coming from the Father. Which means what they had wasn't enough. Don't miss the point. The disciples are going to be witnesses in Jerusalem. They're about to go church to Judea and Samaria. He's about to send them to the ends of the earth. And what they got right now isn't enough. See, when they get the power, <laughs> he said, y'all just got water on you right now. But when you get the power, that's when you'll be prepared. When, when they get the gift, that's when they'll be equipped. When they get blessed by the Father, that's 
because you can handle where you are because of what you have been through. See, you can handle what you're facing due to past struggles. Uh-huh. You can deal with the problem that you have now. Uh, God got you ready for where you were headed. See, okay. If it wasn't for the trial, you would have gone crazy. Okay, let me come right here. See, you know why you haven't lost your mind right now? With all the stuff that you're going through? Because about five years ago, God put you through something. And because you made it out, now that you're facing what you're facing right now, it doesn't bother you like it would bother you five years ago. Because God was just getting you ready. Oh, look at somebody and tell them, I thank God for trying over. He knew where I was headed. He knew what I was facing. And he was just getting me ready for where I was headed. Y'all missing your shadow today. You were questioning God 10 years ago. God, why I gotta go through this? God, keep me out of that. God said, hush your mouth. I got somewhere I'm trying to send you. I got somewhere I'm
Because what you got right now, it ain't enough. You need some Holy Ghost power. <laughs> If he can trust you. Uh, uh, won't you stay? I need to know if I can trust you. I told you that Jesus told his boys not to leave Jerusalem. He wanted them uh, to receive power from on high. He said, for John baptized with water. But in a few days, you will be baptized by the Holy Spirit. Yeah. I don't know about you, but that caught my eye. Uh-huh. I don't know about you, but that got my attention. He said, in a few days, they would get the gift. He said, in a few days, they would get blessed. Which means, y'all, they didn't have to wait for a long time. They didn't have to wait for an extended period. Notice Oh, I don't want to stop nothing. 
Jerusalem is the roughest spot. He said, they looking for y'all because they think y'all took my body. And they're embarrassed because I'm no longer there. And y'all are most wanted. If they crucified me, just imagine what they want to do to
we've been in Jerusalem for a while and it seems like things haven't changed we've been in this spot for a while and seems like God things are still the same we've been praying but nothing is different. We've been worshiping, but we don't see a shift. And God, I hear your voice saying that the reason you have us there is so that we can put our trust in you. The reason you have us there is so that we can receive power from on high. To know that we can't make it without your power. We can't make it without your spirit. Because it's not by might nor by power, but by your spirit. Will the victory be won? So God, I ask you to make these who are at the altar strong. To somebody that's ready to give up God, encourage them in Him. Help them, God, to continue to seek your face. Help them to understand that the reason you place them there is because you know that you can trust them. God to continue to look to the hills from which cometh their help, knowing that all of their help, not some of their help, but all of their help will come from you. the spirit of quitting right now. We come against the spirit of throwing in the tower. We speak life. We speak encouragement. Because at the end of the day, God, you are just getting them ready. Somewhere. You're going somewhere. God has much as 
so clean. There may be somebody here right now, God would have me to say to you, don't leave this church the same way that you came. You came in unsaved. God said, I don't want you to leave the same way. I want you to receive some power. I want you to receive a blessing from on high on today. So don't leave your pew the same way that you came in to your pew. If you are unsaved, we open the doors of the church to you right now. If you